Hi, this is Joe Walensky. I'm the program manager for ConveyUX, Seattle's annual user experience conference. That's coming up February 28, March 1, and March 2. And I get a chance to speak with many presenters that will be at the event. And today I'm uh, happy to be able to speak with Nalini Katumaraju. Uh, hi, how are you doing today, Nalini? I'm well, Joe. How about yourself? Oh, very good. Uh, so I'm actually at my... Uh, Vashon Island uh, home office today. Where are you speaking to us from? I am speaking to you from downtown San Francisco at our Salesforce office in one of our meeting rooms. All right. Well, uh, so you mentioned that you're working at Salesforce. I thought maybe we would start with uh, just you just talking a little bit about your background and the nature of your work. Yes. Well, I'm incredibly excited to come speak, actually, at Convey UX this year, I should say, straight off um, that. Um, here at Salesforce, I uh, am part of the user experience team, um, and I lead two different teams. One is a user research team, um, which focuses on user research and analytics uh, at Salesforce. And the second team is a cross-cloud user experience team, which is more of a sort of tiger team to deal with cross-product uh, user experience challenges, a little more strategic. Well, I, I know you're always involved in a lot of different projects. We'll talk about your uh, session in, in a little bit, but uh, are there any uh, particular areas that you've been thinking about, new thought leadership or uh, new emerging project areas? We have a bunch of exciting things going on, obviously, at Salesforce, like at a lot of companies. I think one of the things I've been spending a lot of time thinking about is benchmarking, which doesn't sound like the sexiest topic. Um, but in the enterprise space, uh, coming up with meaningful, rich, contextual ideas of how people can measure experiences in an enterprise product um, has been sort of challenging, so it's prompted lots of interesting discussions about uh, what does performance really mean, so meeting regular performance engineers and, and just trying to think of ways to take people's day-to-day -day work, which is what they use Salesforce for, um, and things about what should the standards be for what an ideal uh, enterprise experience should be. It's been great, actually. Well, uh, you, you mentioned the uh, enterprise focus, and uh, we do have a specific uh, interest area stream related to uh, enterprise-specific uh, topics, and you're going to be part of that, and uh, your topic is data-driven personas. So uh, if you could talk a little bit about uh, what you'll be discussing in that session and what people could expect to learn from it. Yes, absolutely. Um, so... The past year, we've been thinking a lot here at Salesforce around uh, what people do in their jobs. And of course, as practitioners, we're all familiar with Salesforce and people at the Convey UX community as well, um, and how they, sorry, about personas. We're all familiar with personas and how they think about um, ways in which they inform design. What we're hoping to do is um, talk about the next evolution in personas, which is moving from personas being more of a design artifact to help designers think about uh, putting users at the center of a process, and more as a way to organize our entire research and development arm at Salesforce to think about personas as a way to design and develop our product um, more broadly. And the data-driven part of it is interesting because by data-driven, um, what we mean by that is we're using a broad array of different types of data sets. So um, we're doing more familiar techniques like going out to talk to customers and do field site visits and lengthy in-person interviews and documenting that through video. Um, but we're also relying very much on large-scale quantitative surveys, so questionnaires asking people what they do in their job. And we're going a step further and combining that with actual product usage data, so things that you would normally see more in analytics or in data science. And we're trying to get personas that are, have a longer lifespan than just sort of one design cycle for a release um, and that serve a broad um, constituency within Salesforce. Well, I think that uh, definitely presents an interesting uh, 
uh, a new way of thinking about the development of personas, and so I'm looking forward to uh, hearing your presentation uh, here in Seattle. So we'll look forward to uh, seeing you in just a few weeks. Great. I'm looking forward to it. Thank All right. Thanks a lot, and we bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.